So tonight, guys, we are building a very, very important project on the Truly Bedrock server. We have one goal, and that is to build a secret iron farm. Don't tell anybody. You're not allowed to tell anybody. It's a secret. Excuse me, Silent 2, what are you doing? I didn't, I didn't even know you were on the server. How did you get here? And why are you littering all over the ground? What is your problem? What a litter bug. Jeez, we could have lost this Looting 3 book. What? Wait, Looting 3? Okay, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Look at it. Throwing lot rotten flesh on the on the ground. I need that. It's my spare parts. Jeez. Um. Yeah, so this is a thing, apparently. Silent 2 just, like, logged into the server, and I didn't know, and uh, now he's uh, doing things. Did he steal the trapdoor? I think he might have stolen the trapdoor, because I, I don't have it. Did this pick up the trapdoor? Oh, there's some stuff in there. Okay. So, yeah, I guess he uh, just went off and decided to do a thing. These notifications are very loud tonight. And also, they got reset to the default. Because is, is, that's not the normal one. That's not how we normally have it. That one's normal. Did someone do something different? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Kuma, welcome back for 31 months. How you doing? Jeez. Kill him. I'm not going to kill him. He hasn't died yet. This big salmon right here, though. I think he wishes he, he would. Uh, <laughs> we also got a couple of new followers. Hello there. Welcome in, people. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be building a secret iron farm right up here. It's going to be fantastic. Do not tell anybody. How many levels does Silent 2 have? How should I know these things? I don't I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's, I don't even, yeah. I know nothing. I know nothing. Okay, so these guys are not happy about their bed situation. That's fine. No, no one ever is. No one ever is. Okay, let's get rid of that. We need to obviously clear out the storage real quick because my guy doesn't know how to uh, do a fish farm. I think we could just let all this stuff despawn down there real quick. No one's going to mind, right? Some saddles. Uh -uh. My laptop is on my other desk. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, so Silent 2 has been on the server for who knows how long. I, I don't know, but he he overflowed the storage system. And we have this entire double chest of junk. And that double chest of junk. And this double chest of junk. So that's very nice. We got plenty of bowls. We do like bowls. Uh, so we're going to sort through this real quick and see what we got. What farm store am I going to upload next? I, it might be an AFK fish farm, actually. Unironically. Uh, because I think I figured out a simpler, better, smaller way to do it. Similar to this one, but smaller even. And, like, I think we can get it down to one wide TM. Uh, bottles. We don't need all these bottles. Saddles. Don't need all those. The leather is actually good. Uh, we'll take all this non-stackable stuff. Or, sorry, all this stackable stuff. Put those down into one chest. It's on my lap. A laptop on your lap? What? That is unheard of. What kind of what kind of heathen do you think I am? It's way too hot for that. <laughs> okay. More boots. Why so many boots? Why so many boots? Actually, I don't know what kind of fishing rod this guy's got. Oh, and he must have stolen the... Oh. Well, I guess we should just give him this fishing rod. Because this one's obviously very good. <laughs> Yeah, it's Crest of Vanishing, but, like, who cares? It's a fishing rod. If you die during the fishing, then, like, you obviously have bigger problems anyway, so. Yeah. All right, then. Let's load all this stuff into there, because I actually don't want any of this in my inventory. Thank you. Bowls? Don't need that. We'll take the sticks, though. Minecraft gods are angry with me. Lord Vader, welcome back for 33 months. How are you doing tonight? You're getting up there as well. Jeez. Uh, 30... Wait, 12, 24... 30, 36 is, uh... Three years, isn't it? You're not too far away. Jeez. Getting old. A penny on a villager's rights? Never heard of it. It's a, it's a video game. You can kind of do whatever you want, right? And everybody chooses the worst possible living conditions... So, I don't know what that says about humanity, but the aliens are watching. And they they might be. Um, you know, it's probably because of Minecraft that they haven't contacted us. Let's be real. <laughs> it, it's because of Minecraft. 
They see how we treat villagers and they're like, mm-mm. More like, mm-hmm. Yeah. They do not approve. They do not approve. Uh, let's actually throw away all the bottles. We don't need these. They're not, they're not worth keeping. Okay, so that's a good amount of junk right there. Uh, we'll try and figure out if any of that's actually worth keeping real quick. Uh, but yeah, we're still going to build up the iron farm, of course. We just need to kind of sort out this garbage real quick. Okay, so, channeling one. Sure, mending. Don't need that. This one right here is pretty decent, but this one's better. Uh, I'm breaking three. Don't need that. Actually, you know what? We should be unenchanting these for some experience real quick. Did they update the villagers? No. The villager changes are still in the beta. They have not come to Minecraft yet. Yeah, this doesn't have anything good on it. Death Rider 2, like, let's, let's destroy that. Curse of Vanishing, we can't actually do anything with that. MC2, Lore 2, Lore 2. I'm breaking 3, Power 3, useless. This one's useless. Sharpness 3. That's got an efficiency 4 on it. That's not so bad. That one's a Power 3. Impaling 4, that could be really good, actually. Power 3. I'm not against combining some of this stuff. To get better things. But. You know how it goes. This one's only got infinity on it. We'll keep it for that I guess. Breaking three mending. I'm breaking three. Oh just a pure unbreaking three book. That's actually really good. Yeah fishing is kind of overpowered in Minecraft. But you know what. They had their chance to fix it on Java Edition. And they failed. And they just never tried to fix it on Bedrock Edition. So it's clearly a Nintendo game mechanic. Even if you don't really like it. Too bad. It's part of the game. Don't use it if you don't like it, right? I mean, it's kind of how it goes. But also, it's really good. And if you're someone like me who doesn't have, like, a ton of time, then why why not, right? And also, it's not even me fishing. I'm just stealing all this stuff. Grindstone name rollout. <laughs> we have the levels for it now. So we can, we can do that. A flame one belt. We might actually have to keep that. Oh, uh, Curse of Vanishing. On Impaling 5, that's actually fine. You're not going to die if you try it anyway. Cure Unbreaking 3, another Unbreaking 3. That one's got Efficiency 3 on it, that's not too bad. Curse of Vanishing, man. It would be great if it weren't for the Curse of Vanishing. Oh, also it's a Mending Bell? Yeah, never mind. We'll just burn that one. And then... Mending one. Let's put all these ones down here. This, these are decent ones. Power 3... Piercing 4, no one needs that. Protection 3, that could be decent for prop 4. And then Frostwalker 2, we actually like that. Okay then. Lots of goodies, lots of goodies. Uh, let's go ahead and burn all the enchantments off of these. Oh, so it added more books! I don't know why, but they did. Thank you, person. Great way to uh, get rid of all these things and get some experience from it. I think we just gained like a bunch of levels for that. I think we only had eight levels before. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, fish farms are great. And then if you wanted to, you could actually use all of these bulls and all these fishing rods and things as a fuel. Like in a furnace, because they, they do smelt down. Uh, but yeah, look at that. We got a bunch of, bunch of these things. Uh, were we supposed to burn this one? I think we were. Yeah, this doesn't have anything good on it. Books. Books, books, books. We like books. Fish farm is OP. It pretty, it's pretty decent. Um, I think I need to adjust the auto clicker on it. It's a little bit slow right now. Hey, look at that. Pure Curse of Binding. We might actually keep that. And we got like a level from it, so. Yeah, just a pure Curse of Binding. Not too bad. We'll take it. Okay, is there anything else in here that I need to burn through real quick? Just... Just all this. Honestly, we don't even need half of these fishing rods. Uh, are any of these actually decent? Otherwise, we could just burn them too. We definitely don't need all those bows. But sometimes it's really handy to... Uh... Keep a bunch of bows. So that way you can combine them. Uh, I, I can't be bothered to look through all this right now. 
Uh, let's see if we can get Silent 2 to very kindly drop the current fishing rod that he's holding and then pick up this one, because this one's actually better. Uh, even though it's got Curse of Vanishing on it, like, who cares, right? It's perfectly fine. Okay. Sir Silent 2, would you kindly throw your, your fishing rod in front of you? Maybe he can't hear me. Hi. Hi, can you, can, you, can you throw your fishing rod for me? Oh, wow, look at that. He's such a kind person. Okay, now you can pick up that one. Maybe. There you go. Cool. Okay, enjoy your fishing, sir. Man, what what a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start on the iron farm, shall we? I think it's going to be a fairly simple build. Uh, however, we need to start with our villagers first. Now, you'll notice that we have a couple problems with our villagers. We're building a one million item sorter. That is, that is a lot. That is a lot of, a lot of millions. So our villagers have all grown up, and the problem that you might notice is that there's two nitwits in here. Jeez, they really do take after me. I'm at least 20% nitwit all the time. So, I don't know exactly how to get them out of there. But I guess we'll just, you know, pull some guys out of there, put them into the training hall, and then when we get the nitwits, that'll be fine. Uh, so we're going to add in some more beds, breed up some more guys, and then build up that iron farm. Only 20%. Uh, yeah, I think I might have my numbers inverted there. 20% non-nitwit. 20% non-nitwit. I think that I think that tracks. I think that tracks. Don't I have beds? I thought, yeah, here we go. We got a couple more beds. Let's add a couple more beds up here real quick. There we go. And then we'll give these guys a few more carrots. Uh, we'll do half a stack to you. And then half a stack to you. There we go. Oh, these guys down here are breeding? Well, I guess they got a little bit of food. That's fine. 50% chocolate chip cookie. What? Chocolate chip cookie? Don't you dare say chocolate chip cookie in the chat if you're not going to deliver. Yeah, deliver on these on these promises. As a 90% nitwit yourself, you approve of this message. Cool. I'm, I'm glad that I'm among peers. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to simply lower down this roof. So, you see how this roof is, like, very crafting tabled? Yeah, I want to build that, but lower. So aggressive. It wasn't that aggressive. It was just very close to the microphone, which I don't usually do. Because it sounds like this. Yeah, no, it's, it's too much. It's too much. I, I, I can't hear what I sound like on the stream, but I'm sure it was a bit much. <laughs> Uh, right then. Do we have any yellow dye? We do not. I guess it's time to go dying. We need some yellow so that we can make orange. Orange. I feel like that is not a good use of bone meal. We used like four bone meal and got three flowers. There we go. That's a good use of bone meal right there. Someone keeps harvesting all my honey. Or maybe the bees just can't get to it because the flowers are on the inside now. You know, that might be... That might be it. But also, I think someone's still harvesting all my honey. Great day to go die. I agree! Always a good day to go die. We like die. Have you guys ever died something before? Ah, silly question. Of course you have. I can't, I can't click on it? Okay, there it goes. It just took a second to figure itself out. <laughs> okay, and then we need a bunch of spruce as well. And we have 61. Does that look like 61 logs? No crafting table in the end, though. I cut it out, but I actually had dropped my planks. So, I did actually have... A crafting table with me. I just couldn't, like, see it in my inventory because I, I had dropped it. Oof. I see you, moss. You better watch out! I see you. Oh, hi. We got mobs that spawn up here? Someone didn't light up his base. That's on top of my base. What? That's illegal. Uh, let's just put down a block, like, right here. So we need a three-block app. One, two, three. Bam. 
Yeah, we might need to go get more terracotta. So this is going to be the spawning platform for the iron golems. No building for a minute, man. Every single time. Every single time. Just came here from a Star Wars guest of honor stream that you could have taken very out of context. I, I don't know what that stands for. But I'm guessing that what I said, probably very wrong. Probably very wrong indeed. Uh, okay, so breaking is not building, so we can break these out. Oh. Come on, get into the inventory. Oh, and then we need... was Is that dark oak? That might be dark oak, actually. Oh. I'm gonna die dropping down that thing one of these days. Guaranteed. I have no dark oak. We are gonna use the spruce. Cool. Good, good talk, good talk. Galaxy of Heroes. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Okay, then. A Star Wars game that I've never heard of, though? Jeez. Am I even a, stars, a Star Warsian? I, I don't think so. <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> that does say something about dying. I did, actually, yeah. It's uh, pretty on point for the stream. So, we can have that one there. And then we can have, like, these two here. Yeah, we just can't cover up the uh, the fish farm right there. So, I've never built an iron farm inside of a building before, like this. Uh, this entire thing is very fragile. It's a very fragile predicament that we find ourselves in. And any p part of this could go wrong at any time. So, yeah. Let's hope that it don't. Okay, so we can't have the thing right there. We gotta have a block out right here as well. That way, dude can fall down. Ah, uh, but for now, we'll just fill that in. Okay. And then, we need to start filling in these logs as well. Is this one a log? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, this is just going to be the, the crafting grid, you know? Trying to make it look like there's no farm up here. There we go. Only one one heart? Oh, I do have feather falling on. Okay. I, I forgot that I have feather falling boots. How do you get the bubble column block? Uh, there's a way to get it. I, I show that in my... I show that in a video. I forget exactly which one. I, I have too many. But I do show that in a video. I don't know. Some sort of bug rock. That's about the best I can say. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get it just by silk touching on a, on a laggy world. But this is just like waterless bubble calms. I made a short on that. Third most popular short on the YouTube channel. If you want to just go look at the shorts that I've made. Pretty Pretty easy. Pretty easy to find. Ah, uh, yeah, you just gotta fill it in with powdered snow and then flush that powdered snow away with water. Real, real simple. Yeah, it's basically just a bug rock. A classic bedrock. Uh, okay, so we just need a few more logs and then we need a little bit more terracotta. Do I have any? Okay, I have some. Uh, I guess we'll dye the rest of this because we gotta fill in the rest of this platform. Maybe that'll be enough. I feel like that block should be there. I feel like that one should also be there. Okay. I don't know how we're going to do the water in here. Or a couple other things. Like, there's, there's some serious things that we need to figure out. Like, I don't know how we're going to do the kill chamber. I don't know how we're going to make the corners work, because that corner is weird with the bubble column, and that corner is weird with the with the fish farm. So, we'll we'll figure it out. At some point in time. 
Okay, I literally need like just a couple more. Like three more? Is that literally it? Okay. Three more and then we gotta go chop down a tree. Uh, yeah, so basically everything still works in Minecraft 1.21. 1.21 has only broken two things, but those are pretty easy fixes. It's raid farms need a slight tweak to, you know, do the, the bottle thing. And then creeper only farms need a new design. And that's it. Everything else still works in 1.21. Like literally everything. So yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Um, right, let's go chop down a tree. Chop down a twee. You guys like chopping twees? That confirms right. They changed how mobs spawn, but it like only affects creeper only farms basically. They literally move where mobs spawn by like half a block. Instead of on the corner of the block, they're now in the center of the block. So, you know, it's fine. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. Oh, there's our uh, spruce tree that we grew earlier, actually. So we can just go over there. There's probably some saplings, too. Yeah, generally it's a good idea to not fully AFK at a raid farm because, you know, it's a raid. Things can happen. They are a bit fragile. Raids are, like, seriously the most annoying thing. Uh, oh, no, this is where we grew the tree. Yeah, they're very annoying. Ravagers, specifically. If it weren't for Ravagers, oh, man, it'd be so easy. But the Ravagers, like, they break everything all the time. And Vexes can happen, too. Unless you're using, like, a stack raid farm where you're super far away from where the guys are dying. Then, yeah, there's always going to be the possibility of Vexes. Like, even uh, a very... A very unlikely occurrence... If you give it enough time, it becomes basically inevitable, right? Like, even if it has a 0.1% chance of happening, if you run that farm, you know, a couple hundred times, or if, you know, a hundred thousand people build that farm, it's gonna happen. And it's gonna happen to a bunch of people. So, it's really just... Like, the, the odds are not in your favor. <laughs> Might not happen often, but it, it, it will happen. So. Something, something to think about. No, there's no splash potions of Ominous. If there was, then we wouldn't have as many problems. No, it's, it's manual drinking only. Also, deer silent. <laughs> yeah, uh, usually you don't get vexes, though. So the problem with Ravagers is that their hitbox is just really stupid. So they can just kind of, like, spawn inside of blocks, or on the corners of blocks, or on the edges, or really just kind of all over the place, right? And then they bounce around, and they, like, get stuck in the water, and their pathfinding is horrible. Genuinely, the worst. More for Ravagers? Aw, oh, man, things would be so easy. It'd be so good. It'd be great. But uh, Ravagers make everything stupid. Yeah, I mean, you could make a macro for it, but the problem is you need to time, time it correctly. Um... Because the, the raids are variable. And then you have the 30 second cooldown after the raid for the victory. And then you gotta have the 30 second. Yeah, so the 30 second cooldown after the, the raid ends for the victory. Then you drink the bottle. Then it's another 30 second cooldown before the raid starts. And, uh... Yeah, it's just a lot of waiting. Uh, you could just go ahead and drink a bottle, like, every, you know, couple minutes. That would be fine. You would waste bottles, but... You'll probably end up getting more bottles than you need, just due to the how how often you get. Bruh. See, I told you guys I'm not controlling this. I don't I don't know what his problem is. Salad two, come back. What are you doing? Anyway, I don't really care. <laughs> I I guess he's done. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Why is the iron farm inside? Because it's a secret iron farm. If I wanted people to know about it, I would build it outside. Obviously. Come on now. Read the stream title. SMH. SMH. Uh, okay, so we need to put away that. And 
And then... What else can we do? Um, we need water. Bottle of water. That's what we need. Bottle of water. Is 700 gold an hour pretty good for a farm? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think a, a two portal is like a, a thousand or something. It depends, though. But yeah, I mean, it's more gold than you're ever going to need, right? You're really just there for the experience. Oh, wait. Hold up. I might have done an oopsie. Yeah, I might have done an oopsie. But it's secret for everyone to know. Listen, listen, listen. No one watches my videos. Have you seen my views on episode two? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's the iron farm spawning platform uh we're also gonna have another platform at this layer right here and that's gonna be what's actually visible so technically that one doesn't need to be there we should probably tear that out yeah okay whoopsie 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 Yeah, Silent 2 is just broken. He's on strike. He's on strike. <laughs> okay, so we've installed a new ceiling right here. You might not notice any difference, but that's because it's a sneaky ceiling. It's a double ceiling, so we have two of them, right? Uh, but this is actually at the wrong layer, because we are going to be building another floor right here and having our villager trading hall. So technically, this can be just like some oak or whatever. It doesn't matter what that's built out of. I need to move this down by, like, three blocks. That way, from below, it still looks like it's the same ceiling. We're trying to hide this thing inside of my own base. Um, because I think farms at spawn are illegal. But, don't tell anybody. It's a secret iron farm. <laughs> yeah, we're, we might be breaking the law right now. I would never. I would never. Uh, so I really thought I'd be able to, like, insta-mine this with efficiency 4. I kind of can from a distance, but not really. Efficiency 4 diamond is not good enough for terracotta? Well. Well. Listen, no one's ever going to know that there's an iron farm here. They definitely will not hear it. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> you want to respect me if I follow the rules? Well, I don't think you respect me either way. So, <laughs> I may as well have some fun with it. <laughs> this whole server is going to raid the iron farm. Yeah, so there's actually an iron farm over that way. But it should be far enough away that it's not like a problem. Man, we need some we need some efficiency five netherite. Because this is this is painful right here. Breaking blocks slowly. Ah. Oh. How does anybody deal with this? How does anybody deal with this? Okay, so this is the actual layer that we need it to be at. And then we need two block gap. And then that's gonna be the lower floor layer. Cool. Glad we got that figured out. Probably should have figured that out, like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes ago before we built this floor, but hey, you know, where's the fun in that? Okay, let's get all this. I'm sure some of that's probably going to despawn or something. Because that's just my luck. Hey, at least I figured it out before I put the water in, right? Are you proud of me for that, at least? I could have built the entire farm and then realized that it's a problem. That has happened. It's happened multiple times in the past. 
<laughs> I gotta say the word river biome before somebody else does. Okay, I think that's all the blocks. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what I exactly want to do for like the top floor. Uh, we might just do deep slate for that because I have kind of a lot of deep slate. Or we could do uh, oak, oak blocks. I don't know if slabs work. Why do I need a secret iron farm? It's not a matter of need. It's a matter of want. Have you never wanted something before? But been told that you can't have it? That's, this is exactly that. Oh, excuse me. Love this bubble calm. Very glad it's in the corner. It could be a block further in the corner, though. I think that would have been more convenient. I don't know why it's a block out from the corner, but, I mean... You know. Tis what it is. Tis what it is. Can't change it now. It's actually illegal. That would be griefing. Because it's not my base. <laughs> oh, jeez. Parkour! <laughs> yeah, Silent 2 says invalid IP address when he tries to join the server now, so... I mean, I don't know what's up with that. I've never had that happen before. It's like, uh, the IP has not changed. You were literally just, just on here. So, I don't know why he's kicked out. Yeah, you can get the golden carrots from villager trading. It's actually, like, one of the best ways to get a good food source in Minecraft. You can't, you can't really go wrong with golden carrot trading. Uh, or you could just be like me and eat, like, baked potatoes. Because you can, you can fully automate that, so... Why not, right? Or you could build, like, a... Cow farm. To get... Steaks or whatever. That, that can also be a good way to go. Really just any... Any mob farm. Also, a chicken cooker is really good. Cannot go wrong with a chicken farm. Those are fantastic. Fully AFK. Don't need to do literally anything at all. You just set it up and it just goes. But yeah, if you're, if you're struggling for food, you're either very early game or you just haven't set up a farm for it, really. Because uh, after the first like couple days of your world, you really shouldn't be right about food also like guardian farms or afk fish farms or uh you know any any other thing like that squid farms those kinds of things can also produce just so many fish and then you can smelt those and those are actually a pretty good source of experience too if you smelt them down because they give you like i want to say three experience per smelt which is actually a pretty high amount uh, so it's actually legitimately a good investment to smelt that down. That's something that we might do this season, actually. Now that we have the auto crafter, everything that was like such a pain and a grind and just kind of not really worth it has become pretty well worth it, actually. You eat pumpkin pie like a true royalty? There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you could buy that from villagers, too. Very good. You're in peaceful to keep creepers from destroying your chest farm? Your chest farm? You have a chest farm? Bro. Living large. Is that you're gonna get it back on the server now? Okay then. So, I don't know what I want to do for this, but... Oh yeah, there he is. It's gonna be about there. Uh, do you guys think we should use Deep Slate for that? We could we could use Deep Slate for it. Welcome. 
Yeah, we could use Deep Slate for it. 18 members? I think we have 20 this season now. Yes, we, we added six new members this season. Don't ask me to name them all because that's just putting me on the spot. And that's not cool, man. <laughs> uh, what is up with this? I'm the better AFK Fisher alt account. Alien bot. Let's see. No, you... I, has that been here the entire time? Because I just now noticed it. I need to update that TV command. Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. I can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, let's just do... Let's just do Deep Slate. We have a bunch of that. And it's a good block. And you can't go wrong with it. Wow, is that your genuine reaction to me using Deep Slate? Is it... Mm, yeah, whatever that sound is. Come on. There we go. Can't believe you would say that. Uh, yeah, so the guys are gonna die, like, right here. And then... Ooh. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting indeed. Our drop's on so we can get the cape. The capes are over! Yeah, the capes have been over for a couple weeks, my guy. Uh, you cannot get the capes anymore. Yeah, that ended... End of June... Very sad. Very sad indeed. Yep. All all capes in Minecraft are a limited time offering. Once they're gone, they are gone forever. You can never get them ever again. Um, so yeah, you really gotta hop to it once those things come out. If you have the opportunity to get a cape, you gotta you gotta do it. Otherwise, you will never have the opportunity again. Uh, if you didn't get a code. Or if you still have a code, I think you can use those until, I want to say July 31st? 31st of this month? I think we have, like, five codes uh, that somebody made an alt account for. One of our staff members. Can't remember who right now. And, yeah, I think we have a bunch of, bunch of extra codes that we can do a giveaway for. What are we doing? We're building a secret iron farm. Very secret. Shh. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Better rocket Java. Both! There is no such thing as better. There is only good. Come on, give me a fish already. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I think we can make this to be a one-wide. When the server restarts, we'll head over to the creative world for a minute and uh, show you what I'm thinking for a new fish farm design. Naturally, he's making an iron farm. You gotta make an iron farm. You have to make an iron farm. It's mandatory Minecraft. It's actually mostly done, too. Um, we just need to figure out the, the water right now. And then I also need some ladders to deal with this because it's, kind of, it's getting kind of annoying right now. Falling off a hundred times. Thirteen ladders. Oh, hey, we can just go up, like, right here. There we go. That should be fine. And then, yeah, we need some little light sources in here. Now, I don't think we're going to get any fish, squid, drowns, or anything else like that. Because we're in the middle of plains biome. Am I using the 505 waterfish farm? No, those are only for Java. You don't need to do any of that on, on Bedrock Edition. Very, very convenient. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll block those off. Yeah, that's right, cave sound. Get caved. Okay. Get caved. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Can you build chunk loaders on bedrock? No, those are impossible unless you have the, uh, like an alt account or a fake player or, you know, um, a ticking area command. Those are the only real ways to do it. Okay. 
So this is going to be the spawning floor of the iron farm. We have to work around this weird bubble column in the corner. So we'll box that up. No one will ever know that this is here. Very sneaky. Very, very hidden. Uh, no one will also know that we have a giant hole in the corner over here for the fish farm. Very sneaky. Very, very hidden. And then we see all this water to flush to the middle. And is that going to flow over the edge? Sure is. Cool. Okay, this is going to be a very small spawning area. But it should just work. You've been making gold farmers 16 and 20 portals. That's a lot of portals. Now, you got to keep in mind that portals can cause some serious lag. And also, like, chunk corruption issues. So, keep that in mind. Now, I haven't heard of anyone having chunk corruption issues. Like, at all. In the last couple of years. So, it might be solved. Um, but I, I can't confirm or deny any such claims. Or ideas. Actually, we don't need a water source on every block. We just need there to not be any uh, dead spots. So as long as everywhere pushes the center, then we should be should be fine. It's a smaller area than normal, so not every spot needs a piece of water. Piece of water. Try saying that with a British accent. Piece of water. <laughs> Money maker farm. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a trading hall too, by the way. Uh, it's not just going to be a iron farm. We're going to put some villagers up here. And I don't want that one. I want that middle one. Thank you. Okay. This should about do it, I think. And then maybe one, like, right there. Oh, wait, and then... Yeah, I think we can have one right there. Okay. That should do it. I don't see any dead spots in here. We'll, uh, we'll block up the center real quick. That looks pretty good to me. I'm not seeing any dead spots in here. There's no stagnant water. But also, they're wider than a block, so even if there was one stagnant water, I think it'd be fine. Like, this right here, this is a problem. Yeah, and see, we... Hmm. We can't place the water source right here, so I think what we'll do is we'll just box it up. That'll solve it. Because otherwise it would create an infinite source and then flood the whole platform. Which is not good. You don't want that. Not good. Okay, we just need some signs or something in there now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, you don't want water to flow down into that bubble. I do not want to recreate that. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. So we need I, at least one campfire, one hopper, and then some signs. And that should be all we need to finish this off for the spawning platform. Then we gotta move the beds up. We gotta move the villagers up. And we gotta get them some work stations and some jobs. You have a 7x7 seven seven iron farm. Is that on Java though? Because the Java ones are really tiny. We also have carpets down there. Powder snow beneath it that we don't want to get flowed. Yeah, 7x7 seven seven is very small for bedrock. You should really make that larger. If you want better rates. The more spawning spots you got, the better it's going to be. To an extent. Uh, let's see about this. What I come down here for? We need signs. Ta-da! We need campfire. We need hopper. Ah, oh, man, I have to spend iron to make iron? What kind of economy is this? Jeez. more chests and then we probably need more than four signs just saying probably need a few more seven that should do it so i'm thinking we can get away with one campfire 
These things are really quick. Oof. Oof. You know what? This is why I made a ladder. <laughs> Gonna have to pay my value added tax? No! I don't even know what that is! There's more taxes? Ah, oh, jeez. Why has there gotta be so many taxes? Ain't nobody can handle that. Uh, let's see. We need that right there. And then... Just need something to stand on. I don't have depth striders. This entire process is way more difficult than it should be. Okay. Now, I'm thinking we what we can do is we can push the golem to the side. And then we can have our chest be, like, right, right here, maybe. Or at least at this layer. We can have our hopper be right here, even. And then campfire above that. Just like this. Oh, and then I'm not thinking about cats. Cats are fine. Gotta pay for the in-house fishing tax and iron tax. No! <laughs> I can level up villagers. Uh, I just gotta trade with them. Yeah. So I think if we have one water source right here flowing to the sides, that should push them onto here. Or, I can't lower this down a block. Cannot lower it down a block. Can you have water flow on top of a thing? I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure if we put, like, if we remove that sign and have water flowing on that, I'm pretty sure that would get flowed out. Right? That makes sense. Okay. But I believe if we do something like that, that's going to push the golems to not hit it. Yeah, they're not going to touch it from there. Uh, let's just do four campfires. You know what? Let's not be stingy. We'll just do four campfires. That's, that's way easier. It's boring, but if we, if we had more vertical room to work with, then I think I could get away with it. But uh, yeah, we'll just make a couple more campfires. It's fine. So expensive. So expensive. I don't know how anyone affords this. Three of these. Okay. And then we need three more hoppers. True, I don't need four. If I wanted to kill the golem, I could just use one. But the cats. The cats is what we need to worry about. Like, I could just have the golems fall down right here, put some slabs around it, and then they would die on that one. But alas. Cats. Uh, we also want, what, eight glass blocks in here? That way we can actually see what's in there. Uh, we're not going to use an auto crafter in this one, because we don't quite have enough room. Uh, we might add it later, if we do end up having room. Uh, basically, the idea for this crafting table is it's my base, my starter base. It's 14 by 14 by 14 on the inside. So it's a perfect perfect cube on the outside, right? And then I'm trying to fit as many different farms and stuff in here as I possibly can. I need one more sign as well. Uh... <laughs> Bam, there we go. I'm putting the signs above it. That way there's no smoke particles. No smoke signals today. Okay. So that's going to be... The place where they spawn, right? That's the spawning platform up there. Uh, now we need to surround this with beds. We're going to get all the beds up here. 
And we're going to place them all around this very center. And then we're going to have our villagers on the very edges. And then we need to block this thing up right here because that's kind of annoying. Uh, we also need some more of this orange terracotta, I guess. Do I have any left? I have four. That's not enough. Got fell on those edges, right? Yeah. Okay. As well as parkour house, I have a transformer house. I have a house that's going to be filled with absolutely all kinds of junk. Uh, I think these guys made more baby villagers. I don't actually know. They, they might have grown up by now, to be fair. Also, we have 200-something people here. Hi, how are you guys doing tonight? How'd you get the invisible water? Uh, you know what? Let me just drop the short link for that. Because I made a short on that on the YouTube channel. And we have a lot of people asking about it, so... Yeah. Okay, here is the link there in the chat. It's super easy. Super easy, guys. You've seen some powdered snow. It still works in the current update, too. So. Go for it, right? Aqua Affinity? That's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. He's got 42 levels right now, which is perfect. Okay, then. Uh, let's give those guys a couple more carrots and stuff just to make sure that they've actually made enough villagers. Because we need at least 10, and I don't know how many there are. We have two nitwits, though. So, yeah, I kind of need to kill those guys and replace them. Because you want your villagers to have jobs in your iron farm. If they're not working, then you're not going to get golems. Iron golems are kind of like the pizza delivery guy of society. You gotta have a functioning society, otherwise there's no pizza delivery guys, right? Like cavemen, they didn't have pizza delivery guys. You know. 18th century Europe, no pizza delivery. But if you, if you have a, a nice functioning economy with your villagers and they're all working, then there's enough, you know, excess... For there to be a pizza economy. Okay. Does that make sense? Does everybody understand that? Now I want pizza. Dang it. <laughs> okay. You got some. And then you can get some. Okay. Yeah. I don't see any, any babies in there. But they could have grown up. I, I might have just missed it. That's why they're extinct. Yeah, that's why the cavemen went extinct. Because they didn't have any pizza delivery, guys. Obviously. That makes sense, doesn't it? Sometimes one only is going to pick all food. What? Oh, yeah. Sometimes one of them will pick up all the food. Creeper message him me, me during my stream. Also, by the way, we have a new community event planner, everybody. Uh, you might have noticed that we uh, we opened up event planner applications uh, a while ago. And we have some good applications. And Gilligan is our most recent event planner. Yay! Hype in the chat, everybody. Even Moss is coming over to celebrate. But yeah, you might recognize them. They've been around quite a while. They've been around quite a bit. Very active. Very good. UFO coming soon. Very good. So yeah, now you guys got even more people on the uh, event planner team that will be able to traumatize you. I mean, throw very good events for you. Are these guys making more baby villager? So I haven't seen one fall down yet. You got the hearts and stuff. Do we have no beds? Oh yeah, there, there it goes. There it goes. Oh yeah, there he is. Far left side. You see him? Right in the corner there? Yeah, there he is. Liz, hello there. 
Trim bolt bolting with style. We don't have one of those yet. It might be a while until you you get where you're redeemed. But we'll do it. Are you gonna do the thing where you like name all the single armor trims again? Cause like, bruh. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I have two. I have Ward and I have Spire. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. It's creating a backlog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you are. That's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, okay. We're waiting for that guy to breed another villager because we need to kill that. Kill that nitwit. Is there three in there? I think there's only two. Okay. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to try and get these villagers up into the top there. And I think we're just going to use a bubble column for that. That sounds like the easiest way to go. Do I have a soul sand? I don't. I could probably borrow one. Because these guys happen to have some right here. Uh, they also have a lot of chests on their wall. It's also very dark down here. Do they have one soul sand I can borrow? I really don't want to go to the nether again. Because that portal is currently under construction. And these guys are not organized at all. Where's your soul sand? Wow, it's almost like they have a starter base or something. Where is your soul sand? I just need one soul sand. I just want to borrow a soul sand. Oh, someone moved out. There used to be a bunch of chests right there. Or oh, they moved back here. This might be... Oh, they got one of the, the Ashen Wolves. Wolves. Wow, look at Mr. Richie Rich back here. Jeez, that's a lot of breeze rods. Hey, there's the bolt armor trim, actually. It might have been easier. What's that one? Sentry as well. I literally just need one soul sand. I'm not trying to snoop. I'm just trying to find one. Thank you. We'll, we'll give it back later. I just need to borrow it. It's, it's not stealing if you give it back later. At an undetermined, unspecified, unknown date. It's not stealing. Not theft. Babush, welcome in. How you doing? <laughs> nah, okay, so listen, like... It's just mild theft. It's fine. No, I, I, I gave back the mending books and stuff that I stole. It's just, it's, I'm just playing around, you know? I don't think I've actually stolen anything for real, Z. I think I might have grabbed, like, a couple stone. Or cobblestone. Like, day one. Or, like, some deep slate for my stairs or something. It, it, was, it was something minor. It's nothing actually serious, you know? Just messing around. Zoe's been stealing from my stuff, I think. I told him he could. So he should be. Uh, by the way, I did buy some tridents from... No, he just gave them to me. Never mind. Yeah, Zoe gave me a tridents. That's cool of him. Um, we need to get some kelp. Do I have some? I do, actually. Calm down, Munchie. I know you want to place a bunch of kelp, but calm down. If you he, if he don't get that, don't worry. It's, it's something that only Munchie would understand. Let's see. It's taking a bit longer than I thought it would, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just dump all of our villagers up here. And then we'll, like, block off this thing on the side. And then they won't be able to, like, fall down or go out anywhere or do anything dumb. And we should probably put, like, a, a couple trapdoors right here or something. That way they can't get up and out. So we don't want them falling down there. And then, yeah, we'll basically just send them up, up and through. And they'll be fine, right? Can't imagine they would figure out a way to mess that up. Although they are villagers. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta be careful with villagers. They're really dumb. You understand as well? Do you, though? So, during the development of the current season of Whispercraft and Derptopia's world spawn, we have a beautiful underwater uh, world spawn, like Atlantis style. Uh, that the build team spent a very long time developing. Uh, Munchy, quote-unquote, helped with that by spamming down upteen bajillion kelp everywhere. Uh, so it's been a, be a bit of a meme since then. We were like, yeah, you can help. Just place some kelp. And uh, he he placed some kelp. Every single block had a kelp. Uh, it was great. It was so good. <laughs> it, was, it was all the kelp that you could possibly need. And... Uh, 
I was so proud of him. And now he's officially uh, banned from the build team server. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Munchie's Cup disaster. <laughs> nah, it was... We're, we've blown it well out of proportion. Uh, it was it was fine, you know. It was just... It was really funny to look over, though, and just see a, a kelp on every single block. Because <laughs> we also turned up the tick speed, right? So that they would actually grow. So they all grew to, like, you know... All the way. All oh, right, you can't place that on Soul Sand. Why can't you place that on Soul Sand? I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was pretty funny though. It was good. Uh, let's see. Java can place it on Soul Sand? Huh. Stacked raid farm still work? Yeah. Yep, stacked raid farm. All raid farms still work. You just need to do a slight modification to bring the bottles to you. Or you can just, like, stockpile the bottles at the bottom and bring them up manually. It's, it's whatever, right? It's not really a, a big deal. I haven't already asked a shout out to our new staff member. I did! I did after you, after you DM'd me. I see that you DM'd me two more times. And honestly... Uh, I can't be bothered to read. Java cannot place the cup on Soul Sand. Oh, okay. Yo, DM me again. You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna say I know you. Haha, -ha, I did it before you even got it. <laughs> they lied! Liars! If only that new event planner was in stream. Are they in stream? I actually don't know. I don't think they are. I tried. I tried adding them. I didn't. I didn't see them. Uh, right then. Okay, we've made some good progress. We have our villager breeder breaded, and then we have our two platforms set up. So we have uh, the villager trading platform, as you can see, very nice, very good. And then right above this is the iron farm platform. Which is very, um, wet. I don't know. That's just, that's just what it is, okay? So it's gonna be very sneaky. Basically, we're gonna send all of our villagers up here using this nice little sneaky bubble column. They're just gonna roam around for now. Then we're gonna put them into trading cells on the edges up here. And I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Nothing at all. Demote the new staff. <laughs> Listen. Watching streams is not part of the, uh, the obligations of staff. Okay. Oh, we need... Okay, we have some, some blocks to stop the water. Um... Yeah, I just need to move these so they're over. Creeper! But subscribing is. Subscribing is mandatory. <laughs> no, it's, it's really not. We're, we're pretty chill about everything. You don't need to watch my videos to be on the staff teams. <laughs> you just need to be active and help out. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure half the mod team hasn't watched any of my videos in, like, a couple years. <laughs> not calling anyone out, honey. I mean... What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You'll help by sending me Uwu sounds. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's very helpful. They make videos? That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Try the one who does? Oh, okay. Rude. I said JK! That means just kidding! Uh, 
Uh, thank you very much, Liz, for the 14 months. Really appreciate it. Also, we got uh, Zexervin or something with the raid. I do not know how you are supposed to pronounce that. There is no vowels in your name. There is not one vowel in your name. I have a blaze powder, right? Oh, shoot. Do I not have one? Uh, <laughs> I might not have one, actually. Where's it at? I thought I had one. Um. Do I not have a blaze powder? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't... Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a place powder. I was pretty sure I had one around here somewhere. <laughs> Am I blind? From us. So we. So we. <laughs> uh, I, I, no, I think I had two at one point. Oh. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> bro, bro, no, stop. <laughs> bro, stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just joined and gave me one in left. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay. Oh, man. How many people are online right now? Oh, a few. Well, not really. Well, more now. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so... What do you do? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really know how to get these guys into the bubble elevator, so we're just gonna, like, place a water bucket right there, and then break out that, and then break out that, and then... You know what? That might that might actually work. That might actually be working. Uh, let's actually place a water source right there as well, and then that should work even better. That was seriously, that was pretty funny, though. Oh. Wrong base, wrong base. You'd be surprised how many times that happens. Nope. Can I just place you right there? Thank you. There we go. Okay. I mean, this seems to be fairly mildly okay working. If you could just go into the bubble, that would be great, sir. You have one job. Go into the bubble! Did I just get a water source out of there? Somehow? I don't know how that how that happened. Sir, you have one job. And it's, it's called get into the bubble. You know what? He's actually a nitwit. We can just, we can just, we can just, we can just do a murder. Murder is... Sometimes not a crime. Oh, there he goes. That was accidental, I swear. Uh, yeah, they need to, like, be able to bounce up. Why are you braiding? Stop it! You're supposed to be going up the bubbles! Not whatever it is that you're currently doing. Yeah, see, this is going great, guys. Don't worry. Is that one a nitwit, too? Get out of here. I think we have two more nitwits. Ah, oh, man. They all, they all grew up to be nitwits. I, I taught them well. I taught them well. Fishing rod. Uh, you know what? That might actually be a good idea. Do I have a, a janky fishing rod? Sure. Let's see if that, let's see if that works. Fishing rod. No? 
There it goes. Now, I think I need to break that out and replace it with, like, a uh, sign or a slab. Very difficult to get back in there. Without, like, a bunch of villagers spilling out. Oh, there goes one! I got him! Professional. There, there he goes. There he goes. Go up the bubbles. Go up the bubbles. I swear, if you drown, that'll be so funny. No, really don't want to trade with you. Just go up the go up the bubbles. I feel like you're all gonna drown. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. There okay, so I did pick up a water source. Okay. Hey, look at that! Professional Minecrafter, everybody! You you wanna go up that bubble too, don't you? Come on, I need a hundred percent success right here. Go into the bubbles! Thank you. Look at that. Professional. Everything worked great, guys. First try. No issues. Now, let's just go upstairs and make sure that nothing went wrong. Yeah, look at this. They're scared for their lives, as they should be. First try. Yeah, so they're all running around because of their beds not being near them. Also, uh, at some point, we'll have to tear that out. It's fine. And let's put away all that. We're going to need to... Oh, we're going to need to build out of some blocks up there. So that'll be something to figure out. I don't know what I want to build out of up there. And we need some water buckets probably still. Don't need this fishing rod. Dump that in there for now. And yeah, what do we want to build out of up there? I guess it's probably going to end up being oak. Oak or spruce. Uh, but also we could take a little bit of this orange up there. That might look kind of nice. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You do that too when you're near your bed. Yeah, we need to get a shulker for all this. Okay. So, we're going to move all these beds upstairs because we want the iron golems to spawn up there. We don't want them to spawn down here. Uh, they only spawn within like six blocks vertically of the beds. So, I don't really know why they're still running around. I'm trying to pathfind to their village. That should solve it. Okay. You can make all your villagers... Oh. You can make all your villagers panic really easily. So these guys are trying to pathfind to their, be their bed or the village. And it's crazy. And then you place down one bed. A guy links to it. And then suddenly, everybody's calm. Nobody's, nobody's running around anymore. And it's great. So now we can just start pushing these guys into little cells on the walls. And getting our training set up going. And it's going to be great. Hey, guy, how you doing? <laughs> that pingo just tried to drown us. Run for your lives! Yeah. Uh, so we have two babies in here. And we got two nitwits. We're going to get rid of the nitwits. Two less villagers to deal with. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus a two down there. That's fourteen. Okay. That's actually more than we need. Uh, that gives us a little bit of leeway for some guys. We only need ten. So we could kill, like, four of these guys and be fine. Band of Arthropods 3, let's go! Yeah, the, the baby villagers on Java are way more interesting than they are on Bedrock. Uh, you know what? We should probably try and get those babies into a boat. Because they're really hard to contain. Like, they're gonna definitely jump in there with that guy. I think he just grew up in the least convenient place possible. Yeah, I think that guy literally grew up in there. Okay. Sure, we can break that out. There we go. 
Okay. It's not so bad. So, we're going to have villager cells. Ooh, this is going to be awkward, isn't it? Sir, I need you to get into the cell right here. Thank you. And then, yeah, this guy goes into the cell right here. Cool. And then this guy goes into the cell right here. Look at that. Convenience. Why are they all looking down? Um, excuse me. Hello? Excuse me? My guys, why? Oh, I see. They're worshipping Silent 2. Silent 2 is their god. Okay. Um, you should find a better god. Just saying. Okay, yeah. See, break, break it up, guys. Break it up. The brain is silent too. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know about that one. He's uh, he's not that cool of a guy. <laughs> I can do better. I can do better. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yeah, they're just being weird. I don't know, actually. Is there an item dropped on the ground down there or something? I don't, I don't know. They're forming a cult. I think so. I think you're right. I think you're right. I guess we'll put their workstations in the corner. Where, where you want to go, my guy? Where you want to go? You want to go right here? You want to go? Let's go. Let's go, my guy. There you go. We went. Seriously, though. But why? I've actually never seen that before. I don't... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> okay, listen. It might look easy for me, and this is only because I have suffered. I have suffered immensely over many years of playing Minecraft with these villagers. I've put in my time. So I... I know the pain... And I just, I know how to make it look easy. Like that. Okay, and then we've got these two guys right here. Um, we should probably move, like, these three over to this corner. And then maybe move that guy over to here. So we'll just have all of our villagers on, like, this wall. Or something like in this in this corner. I don't know. That seems seems fair. Isn't there a bubble column there? It's in it's in this corner. It's uh it's right here. I just blocked it off. So Yeah, I can't really get these guys out of here until that one grows up, so I guess we can just leave it for now. Can we get our okay, here's the shulker beds. So you want the pillows to be nearest the center. That way the, the iron golems spawn there. We also need to give all these guys a bed. And I think the cheapest workstation is like... I don't know. A grindstone? What's containing the bubble? Nothing. It's just, just air. Bunch of air. It's containing itself. I know. That's deep. Uh, composter is a good idea, actually. Yeah, fletching table can be good, but getting the, the flint is kind of annoying. Uh, let's stack up these ones in the corners a couple. Oh, I don't have that many beds. That many white beds. Okay, and then we got this guy right there. And we got, I don't know, these ones as well. I'm trying to keep it consistent here. We got four white beds. Cool, let's, let's stack up these ones on the back then. Got a lot of books for lecterns. This is true, actually. Very true. I forgot about that. Um, we could stack up one bed right here, like, going horizontally between these two. And that would be fine. So, we're going to start some five minutes. Okay, then we're going to go design a fish farm. 
So we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can get 15, 16, 17. We can get 17 in there if we stack it properly. I need three more beds. Uh, it's at 14 right now. I actually need six more beds. Okay. Because you need at least 20. Oh, we have a baby down here. We have two babies down here. Um, we don't actually need those. I'm not going to say that I'm going to, you know, murder them in cold blood. But I'm not going to say that I'm not saying that. Okay. Uh, that's six beds. Perfect. The sheep should have their wool back. <laughs> Imagine going out to the sheep and being like, hey, here's your wool back. They'd just be like, bah. That would be their genuine reaction. You know what? This one should be a white bed. Sorry, we gotta keep this thing symmetrical. White beds all around. And then it's symmetrical. Okay. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen is gonna be going above these two. Okay, then we need three more. Where can we fit three beds in here? We can fit. One there. One there. And then I guess we can just stack it up. That should be 20, right? I think so. Let's count it again. One, two. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that should be... That should technically be enough. Uh, we just need to give all these guys jobs. I'm really surprised that none of them have picked up a job magically somehow. Uh, so how many villages do we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 15, because there's 3 downstairs. Okay. Uh, let's figure out a job site for these guys. So we have a bunch and i mean a bunch of books so many books what job sites do you guys think we should give them i actually don't have any job sites i don't think um yes yeah, look like we don't have any so we're kind of starting from scratch here normally i like raid a village or something but not today so we have some wool in here i didn't know about a couple fishermen those ones are barrels. A fisherman's actually a good idea for the fish farm. So let's make some slabber jabs real quick. Some slabber jabs. Okay. Toolsmiths. Those ones are the smithing tables. So we'll need some iron for that. And then we're definitely going to make the lectorns. Let's make four lectorns for now. That's definitely how you say Lectorn, by the way. Look at that. It's obviously spelled Lectorn. Cartographers, kind of stupid. Sorry, your suggestion is a bad one. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think we really need any cartographers. Um, <laughs> Several restarting in one minute. We gotta go fast. Suggest ideas faster. Masons, eh, I never really use them. Definitely a smithing table. And then... Composters for farmers. Another barrel. That is six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. I would say a brewing stand, but we don't have one. Do we need to use no craft for the server? Indeed, we do. Indeed, we do. Only one name at I'm for stream. Um, we have farmers with the composters. Smoker. No. Illegal. Banned. Fletcher? Uh, the Fletcher is good. Which one is that? You need the flint for that. Uh, we... Wait, did they buy string? 
Never mind. Too late. You guys, you guys failed. You were too slow. You were too slow. And armor is a good one. Uh, let's see. Grindstone is the weaponsmith, right? Smithing table is the toolsmith. Which one's the armorer? Blast furnace. That's right. I was. I always forget about blast furnace. Did you guys watch till the very end of my latest episode of Truly Bedrock? Episode 2? The very end of the video. Literally, like, the very end of the video. You want to name a bee Munchie? We can do that. It's going to happen on this world, though. Since that's where you redeemed it. No backsies. No backsies. Ah, uh, yeah, so the server's restarting right now. It takes about five minutes, but we're going to design a new little AFK fish farm while we're, while we're here. Bye! And then... Oh, we have Vince in a lead right here, actually. We got, we got a Munchie Bunchie. Munch G. Put the G E on the end of it. Bam! Munchy! Adorable. That's how you spell it, right? <laughs> so cute. Thank you for that. Very adorable. Okay, so my idea for this fish farm is really straightforward. Uh, this is my fish farm testing area of Doom. As you can see, there is there is many, many, many fish farms. And this one right here is the la Is this one the latest? I'm not actually sure. No, I don't think that one's the latest. It might be. I'm not sure. Anyway, there is many. This one's a classic. Which one's the one that we're using on Truly Bedrock right now? Around here somewhere. It's not that one. Anyway, uh, so we're going to make this new one very similar to the uh, existing one that we have on Truly Bedrock. But since we're not going to be actually looking at or clicking on the chest, it's going to be smaller even. And then all we need is a hopper and a chest. I've always loved making fish farms. Like, even way back at the very beginning of the channel, fish farms were one of the things that I made a lot of. Because they're, they're genuinely, generally, super easy to build. And they don't take much effort. Also, Hunter, thank you very much for the biddies. Much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing well. I think we can just put in our big salmon right here. There we go. So, yeah, Big Salmon should be able to fit right there. And then we can just, like, waterlog this guy. Bottle of water. And then I think that's literally it. Hopefully that fish doesn't fall out of there. Um, oh, you know what? We can, we can make it so that the fish can't fall out of there. Yeah, we just put another trapdoor, like, right there. Bam. Then we waterlog that trapdoor. There we go. Now we're talking... Although, that does connect right there. Yeah, maybe that won't be a problem, actually. So, if we stand right here, we're going to get another trapdoor right here. Let's build this entire thing out of trapdoors. There we go. I think that's literally all there is to it. Uh, where's my good, good fishing rod at, though? Yeah, see, I think it's getting caught on that. Um, we could try... Can we use a glass pane? Is that something we can do? Can you put a pressure plate on top of glass pane? You can! Oh, that's so illegal. And then, let me guess, that probably connects too, doesn't it? It does. Uh, but it might not be that big of a deal, actually. Oops. That's a big deal. Yeah, see, now it doesn't, like, reject the bobber. Because it doesn't have that extra... Half block of height. Uh, oh, it's landing on that. 
I can't tell if it's landing on the... Okay, it's landing on the pane. Okay, so we're going to have to aim slightly to the side. Like that. And then when it falls down, it shouldn't land on the pane, right? Yeah, there we go. Did I get anything from that? I don't think I did. I think this is literally all, all there is to it, guys. Am I getting anything, though? Oh, is it still inside of this piece of water? That might be a problem. Uh, the server should be restarted by now. So we'll, we'll head back over there in just one minute, guys. Just one moment, and then we'll, we'll continue building our sneaky iron farm. You know what? Game mode ass. Do I have mob drops off? I don't know. I, I've never seen it not give you a thing before. Are you need the trapdoor in your face? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that might have been it. So, when you're when you're using this, you're going to be using an auto-clicker. So, you're going to be like, right-click, right-click, right-click. And then if you right-click on this, you're not going to retract your fishing bobber. Right? Uh, I aimed a little bit in the center there. Yeah, so, instead of retracting your fishing bobber with all these right-clicks that we're doing, it only retracts it when we actually get something. Uh, for some reason, we didn't get something that time. I think it might be because of that water right there. You see how it's still kind of floating? It shouldn't be doing that. Maybe if we lower that down. Or, honestly, can we just get rid of this trapdoor? Mode C, thank you. That might, that might solve it. And then we don't need to aim to the side. Oh, no, that's lower down. Um, oh, our fishy got out. Okay, I guess we need the trapdoor there. <laughs> that looks so illegal. Is he gonna die? He's getting exponentially faster, isn't he? Oh my god, he's he's actually getting faster, isn't he? Oh, they, oh no! <laughs> R.I.P. Big Salmon. Oh, I still had one. Oops. There we go. Oh, that actually is a Big Salmon. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not giving me an item every single time. But it does sort of work. I'll, I'll test it out some more. Um, obviously, you don't need that obsidian right there. But, I mean, like, look how simple that is. That's that's incredibly easy. Sound like H-bomb. I've had a couple people say that, but I have no idea who they are. Never heard them. When am I making a new Cooper farm? Uh, I don't have one designed, but I know some people in the community who do have new designs, and I might collab with them and see if we can make a tutorial. Generally, though, like, gas farms, probably easier and better. I mean, the only time I've heard of H-Bomb is, like, when people say I sound like them. So, I don't know. When did they start YouTube? Because if I started YouTube before them, then they sound like me! So, you know what? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. I started in 2016. H-Bomb. Who is this person? 240,000. I have more subscribers than them. Therefore, they sound like me. That's how that works. They joined in 2013. Oh, I sound like them. Dang it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. There's still hope for me yet. Oldest video. Seven years ago. They sound like me. There's several H-bombs. Oh. H-bomber guy? Oh, 1.7 million. Oh, okay. I sound like them. <laughs> but when did they start their channel? 2006. Dang it. Nine years. Yeah, okay. I sound like them. Dang it. <laughs> R.I.P. Original sounding voice. <laughs> the other H-bomb, though, they sound like me. That's how that works. It goes off of seniority and nothing else. All right, we got to give these guys some jobs. Uh, we actually need more more jobs, though. More gerbs. We're stealing the gerbs. We got a wardrobe change from that guy. Thank you very much. Which one of these looks like a villager tycoon? This is basically Roblox Villager Tycoon. Pigman holding Pigman? I think that, that works. Oh my god! Pigman holding crafting table! Yes! Perfection! This is this is the way. Oh, I can't take off my helmet. Because it's it's binding. But you get the you get the point. Yes. <laughs> I 
Is it H-bomb or H-bomber, man? I, I don't know. Apparently, there's multiple. I, I do not know these things. I, I have no idea who either of them are. I know I sound like one of them, and one of them sounds like me. So we got a, we got a nice chain of sounding mics. Okay, then. Oh, I didn't grab more tables and stuff. What season are we on? This is season six of Truly Bedrock. I know. We've had a lot. Technically, it's season seven. Because we had a season zero. That lasted, like, what? Six months? So not, like, a, a terribly long time. It was it was a mini season. We've actually had two mini seasons. Because I think season... What? Three? Three was a mini? Yeah, three was a mini. Truly winter. Yeah, that was kind of a spin-off. That wasn't a mainline season. Okay, then. So all of our villagers are up here. We have 20 beds centered around the center, because that's what the word centered means. And then if we place this down, one of them should get a job. This guy right here. Fantastic. Congratulations on your new job, sir. And then we just need to do this for all 14 or so of our villagers. Uh, we're just going to give them temporary jobs for now. That way they have something. And then once all these guys have jobs, then uh, we should start getting some iron golems. It's really as simple as that. Super easy. Uh, this guy does not currently have a home. But he still has a job. Probably. Okay. There we go. I knew it. I knew it was going to be you. Yeah, that's right. Get a job, you stinking Silent 2 cultist. That's what he is now. He's a Silent 2 cultist. Oh, hey, look at that. He grew up. Okay. Oh, it's that guy over there. Oh, he, he doesn't have, like, anything on his face. So I can't, uh, couldn't tell. Yeah, see, the face is still vanilla. That's what I was looking at. He's turned to the side. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, let's see. Fisherman, farmer. Hey, yeah, 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 you just grew up. No more, no more babies. Too many. Too many villagers in the trading hall. Oh, it's this guy, even. Yeah, that's right, get a job. You're grown up now, get a job. Okay, that guy's got his station. And then, it's just those two, isn't it? There we go. And then just you. There we go. Okay, and then we got our two adult villagers downstairs. Uh, let's go ahead and actually break out these ones, and then we'll get these two a room. He grew up now, I can murder him without voting guilty. True! Oops. My bad, guys. Yeah, I don't know if we really need a fletching table, to be honest. Uh, our two villagers downstairs are still there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? One, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there's four, four more downstairs. Huh. Trapdoor is stuck down. Interesting. Probably just because of the uh, the server restart. Don't they want twenty? Not really. One is technically better, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, we can get 20 at any time, as you can as you can see. They're obviously very willing. Is 
Is Websmith not a grindstone? Uh, yeah, so there is these two guys up here, which... One of which is a Weaponsmith. And the other one is also a Weaponsmith? No, he's a Mason. Okay, so these guys are connecting to something down here somewhere. Yeah, he's connecting to, like, that, and then probably the grindstones outside. Or something. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, we only need the 10 to spawn golems. Ten out of fourteen, that's more than seventy five percent, right? Yeah, we need to make sure that seventy five percent of our guys are working. Yeah, these guys all have jobs. This guy's got a job. He's a toolsmith. What's he got? That's, oh, look at that. It renders underneath our numbers. Ha, <laughs> the stack numbers. I'm breaking two efficiency, too. That's not horrible. Not the younglings. Yes. Even even the uh, the Padawans. Okay, well, at any point in time, we should start getting a golem. Allegedly. I still got four more workstations too. In the corner. No, all these guys got. They all have jobs, guys. That guy's got a job. That guy's got a job. This guy's got a job. They all have jobs. That guy's a job and a cult. Uh, it's just these two up here that don't really have jobs, but they do, technically. Okay. They do. He should probably unlink from that. Sure no one here the golem die? Yeah, of course. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. They're, they're not going to unlink. Okay. It's fine. I also need to name that grindstone, too. I don't know how none of our villagers linked to these two, like, grindstones right out here. Pretty sure golems can spawn on the roof. You're right. Um, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I lowered down the beds far enough. Hmm. Might have to lower down the beds. They can, they can spawn six above. Ooh, it might just barely be this layer right here. Yeah, we might need to lower down these beds. By a block. Carpets. Yeah, carpets or buttons would do it. Did these guys lose their jobs? They didn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't really need those two anyway. I don't really care what they have. Uh, let's see, what do we got for our redemptions? We got that wardrobe change. Uh, we had another wardrobe change that I missed. Roll out. Uh, that's from Musician Prime. Thank you for that. Is this going to keep its name once we place it down? It should. It's like got its little thing right there. Oh, it doesn't. Huh. Well, it's a waste of a level, I guess. Yeah, I thought they I thought they would. Cause like chests keep their name. We're just gonna ignore that we broke that. I don't have the iron required to uh do that right now. <laughs> uh we'll, we'll replace it once this thing starts working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then two of them aren't working. So that's fine. That's 75%. Yeah, I think we just need to give it some more time. Five. Yeah. 
technically they can spawn on the roof right now. Which means that they're going to, because they they prioritize the highest level. Hmm. Interesting. So, really, we should move this floor down by a block. Yeah, that's what we should do. We should move it down a block. Because that way we don't have to button the roof or anything. Because that would look pretty ugly. Although, we could pressure plate all of this. All of these planks would be really easy to disguise. Um... But yeah, really, we should just move that floor down a, a block. And then we would just have slabs covering up the ceiling. That way it's two and a half blocks, that way they wouldn't spawn on there. And that would fix it. But let's at least wait for a golem to spawn, and then we'll see what happens. Usually they spawn pretty quick. Uh, we should probably trade with a couple guys, actually. Silk Touch, right off the bat, nice. Depth Strider 2, Channeling, Infinity, okay. What have you got, sir? Fire Aspect, Power 3, Multi Shot, Quick Charge, and then what have you got? Fire Protection 4, that's really good, but for 46, that's horrible. I'm not gonna see. None of these guys have anything good. I am so sad. No, don't even think about it! Don't even think about it! He linked to the Grindstone. Back to yourself. Back to yourself. I don't have no blocks for this. Yeah, that's right. Get back in there. Water bucket is one of the best things that ever happened to build or moving. I don't know why none of these guys linked to that grindstone before. Seems like they probably should have. But they really didn't. There we go. Professional. Professional. We saved it. Don't worry, guys. We got it. We're good. <laughs> Great. Let's, let's break that one out. It got, like, really laggy as soon as I placed down that water bucket, too. It's like, ah, great. Making me look bad over here, Minecraft. Jeez. As if I need need your help with that. Okay, just give me a good book, sir. You put me through a lot of rigmarole. I think that patch probably did. Uh, yeah, you're right, yeah. The other guy down there probably did. Chandling thorns. We should have a golem spawn soon. We'll, we'll probably hear it. Looting 3, Respiration 3, Curse of Binding. What do you think? What do you think? Is that worth it? It might be worth it. Looting 3 again. 29 on that one. And 31 on this one. But this one's also got Respiration. That respiration is pretty good, actually. Let's, let's take that. Um, do I have anything to trade with these guys? <laughs> Oof. Oof. 17? Okay. Uh, we need to go harvest our cane. Hey, now, Crystal Binding isn't bad. It's just... special. It's niche, okay? It's niche. Sometimes you want a Curse of Binding. Okay, well, this will hopefully be enough to lock in that guy's trade with the paper, and then we should be fine, right? Every, n no, the only thing that's broken at 1.21 is 
raid farms, which are super easy to fix, and creeper-only farms, which you just need to redesign. Everything else in 1.21 is perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. You're good. They're there. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. Yep, it's all it's all good. Uh, let's see, we're gonna dump off all of this garbage that we do not need. Which is most of my inventory, actually. Oh yeah, we were gonna use terracotta up there for uh, more decoration, but alas, we've not gotten that far yet. Okay. Well, I'm fairly happy with this guy. So we'll, we'll lock that in. There we go. And then this guy over here can be rerolled. Oh, there's two more villagers in the basement. They, too, have jobs and beds. Feather Falling 2. I'm breaking 3. Feather Falling 2. Wow, get wrecked. Get absolutely destroyed. Density 2. No. Oh, no, they added even more books to the villagers. They added 5 levels of density and five levels of 4 levels of breach. So now it's going to be even more difficult to get the things that you want, because there's more things in the pool. Yeah, there's density four. Jeez. Yeah, so basically with villagers, you can get any level of every book, except for, like, a couple books, like, you know, Soul Speed or whatever, Swift Sneak. Basically just the things that make you actually walk faster. So, every time they add another book to the pool, it just decreases your chance of getting everything. It's not nice. Curse of Binding. We already have a Curse of Binding. Get out of here. Also, we're doing this the wrong way. We're absolutely doing this the wrong way. You know why? Because I'm a noob. That's why. Uh, we're just going to take one lever and some of these and call it good. Really, we could be re-rolling multiple guys at once, but let's do that, actually. There's there's no reason not to. <laughs> yeah, let's re-roll both these librarians. So how you do that is you get lever on a piston. Sticky piston, specifically. Bam, bam, another lectern. Bam, okay. And then you check their trades. Unbreaking two, blast protection one. And then nothing. Push those, both of them unlink. They relink, bam, they got new trades. And then we're using a texture pack to see all their trades. So he's got silk touch for 10. Ooh, that's actually the cheapest you can get it. Oh no, sorry. Uh, level one books can be down to five. Treasure enchantments like mending and frostwalker. Those level ones are 10 because they're double. Riptide, Fortune 1, Fire Protection 1, Density 5 for 37. Looting 3 again. Honestly, we're just looking for like a Protection 4. Death Strider 3 is actually really good. But it costs like 32. Kind of expensive. Yeah, they can trade density and breach. Uh, they cannot trade wind charge. Sharpness 4. I'm pretty picky with my villagers. But we're actually getting some pretty good rolls tonight. Like, they're, they're giving us pretty decently high level enchantments right now. Smite 5 for 23. Curse of Vanishing. Hey, Mending for 12. That's actually not bad. 
Mending, Vanishing, Smite, Five. All these are pretty good. I'm actually perfectly fine with this one. This guy seems pretty solid. I'll take you. Thank you. Yeah, that one's pretty solid. Yeah, this is going great right now. Another looting three. That is ridiculous. I wonder if they slightly tweaked some of the, uh... The villagers, because, like, we're getting really high trades, like, basically every time. This does not seem like random, random luck. We're getting some level ones here and there, but mostly it's, like, really high. Really high. Power three, breach, infinity. Infinity's good. Power, smite, curse, mending. Yeah, that one's really good. It's also really rare to get a four book villager. I'm breaking three. Yeah, four book villager can take forever. I like guess it's just rare. Efficiency, 4. For 25. Eh, it's not worth it. Infinity again. Fortune, 3 for 15? Ooh. That's a good villager. That's a very good villager. With the infinity, too? Yo, we're doing so good right now, my guys. We need more lecterns. To the lectern factory. I'm I'm your favorite villager now. Thanks. You're you're my favorite villager too. I'm glad we can be open with each other like this. <laughs> New favorite. <laughs> no iron golems yet. I think we might have to kill our lower two villagers. Get rid of our breeder. To the lectern mobile. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> All right, you can just mine this with pickaxe now. Great about that. Big axe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these two are good. We're gonna reroll two of these guys. Can I? Can I? Doink that. Where's your workstation? Oh, you're gone. You're on a grindstone out there. That's what you're on. Yeah, he's on the grindstone. That's annoying. Okay. Don't really need you to be a farmer. Oh, I didn't put that grindstone back, actually. What are you? Weaponsmith? That's grindstone. Right? Hmm. Hmm. This guy's making me sound like a villager over here. Hmm. Okay, what have you got? Yeah, we're getting some incredibly good luck tonight. Loyalty 3... Loyalty 1. That almost looked like a loyalty 39 right there. You see how it says that? <laughs> Doesn't he need to have the workstation to work? Yeah, they need to have the workstation right next to him. Basically within like a block and then they're fine. Uh, but they can link to a workstation basically anywhere. To actually work at it, it's got to be right next to them though. Oh, what's his fourth book? Density 2. Binding again... Kind of fine with that. Riptide. These two are giving me some problems. Maybe because they're the corner villagers. <laughs> that was the deepest hmm I've ever heard. You guys hear that? <laughs> okay, what have you got? Fortune 3. We already got that. Knockback. Sharpness 5 for 39. That's a bit expensive. I think we can do better. I think we're on a roll tonight. Iron Farm's not working yet, but... We have a trading hall, so... I'm not too bothered. When they do have a book, they tend to have a pretty decent book. Wealthy one. Sharpness four. That's actually a pretty cheap sharpness four for 20. Mending for 20. Oh, you know what? That's actually the cheapest mending villager on the server because their mending downstairs is 27. So our mending is 12. That's like half as much. I need to tell I need to tell Zloy this. Hold up. Excuse me. This is very important news for Zloy. That's not the mending one. Is this the one the mending one? Yeah. 
Zloy! Wake up! Wake up! New mending villager just dropped. <laughs> also, what was it? Fortune 3 for, uh... What, what was it? 12? Is it cheaper? Yeah, so the one downstairs uh, that blue group has, the day one mending villager, is 27, I believe. Oh, they got it down to 17 with some trading. But yeah, it was it was 22, actually. Okay, my bad. But yeah, ours is still five emeralds cheaper. So after like two trades, you're going to be making an, a whole other mending book. So that's great. Man, it is going to be impossible to get down from this thing. You know, there's not like a golem just wandering around the edges, is there? I haven't heard one. That's a distinct possibility, though. <laughs> I forgot I have a crafting table right now. That's great. <laughs> okay. So... I don't know what that guy's linked to. Let's try and figure that out real quick. Let's break out this. We might need to kill these two guys. Wait. Okay, that one actually unlinked. Are you gonna link back to this workstation? No. Okay. Hold up. Please hold while I finagle this villager. Oh! Okay. Um, I was gonna go back up that bubble column, but that was almost bad, because that does not go anywhere anymore. I may have been bamboozled by my own, my own villager bamboozling system. Can you please just link to this, sir? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See? Easy peasy. Not even a problem. Uh, you need something. Uh, you have not been traded with. Are you going to link to this? Oh, he did. Wow, okay. And then I think if I break this, he should unlink from it, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. That was easy. Uh, let's just put it, like, above them. There we go. Kind of don't want you to link to that. I just want these workstations to be above them. <laughs> hey, we got a golem! Hold up! Great news, everybody! We got our first golem! And it actually spawned in the right area! Look at that, my guy! Oh my god, I'm so happy. We've been here for like an hour, and it finally worked. Look at him go! I'm so happy. He could have definitely spawned on the roof. It might have happened that he could have spawned on the roof. Now, we're not using lava because we do not want the base to burn down. Um, so he's going to die very slowly. This thing was never going to be that efficient. It's way too small and cramped and inside of a little crafting table. But it's a secret iron farm, and it does actually work. So we good, boys! <laughs> Please die eventually. Like, I know you can do better. Die already. Die faster. There we go. Thank you. That's all. That's all I asked for. Was a little cooperation. Was that so difficult? Look at that. Five entire iron. Let's go. Love it. Soul campfires. Yeah, that could be a good one. Uh, also, you guys nearly forgot to remind me to give back. The, uh, the soul sand that I totally didn't steal from Blue Man Group. From somebody's chest down there. Cool. Yeah, so as soon as we gave those guys the workstations, it was like, bam, that's it. Cool. I'm glad we got that sorted out. I need to make a new stone cutter. And then I think I need to make a new grindstone for the enchanting table out there. Um, but we'll do that after we reroll our villagers. Because those aren't actually priority things right now. Like, we don't need a grindstone or or whatever. So, we can just keep it as is. Not worry about it. Uh, let's put another slab right there. Do I not have one? Cool, I'm so glad that that works. The dude definitely could have spawned on the roof. But he chose not to. He chose to be a good little iron golem. 
and die in his hole like he should. Sounds morbid. But it's it's just the truth. It's just the truth. Okay? I'm literally giving him a compliment. For being a, a nice little golem. See, I know how to build an iron farm. In illegal places. Where you shouldn't be trying to build iron farms. Uh, I guess we'll just put that right there for now. Yeah, no stone cutter, but not that we really need it right now anyway. You have 11 by 11 iron farm. That's still pretty small. I think ours is 14 by 14, but we're missing some of the, the corners, you know. Oh, I went too far. Yeah, not the most convenient system, but it's fine. It works. We make it work, designers. Okay, well, let's re-roll a couple more villagers while we're here. Seems like we're on a pretty good roll right now. I'm pretty happy with how this base is coming along. This guy also lost his job. Reach three. Yeah, this guy lost his job. So that's good. Infinity, feather falling. Nothing good there. I think we already have infinity, don't we? We have like infinity, fortune, efficiency four. That's really expensive though. Infinity for six isn't bad. You really only need one infinity though. I mean, you hardly even need that. I wonder if this is my texture pack being a problem, or if it's just a, a new bug in the update. I haven't seen anyone else report it, so maybe it's just my texture pack. Uh, which one was this? That was Depth Strider 3. Did we get a Depth Strider yet? Any fortune. Smite, vanishing, mending. And then looting, respiration, finding. Okay. Yeah, we don't really have a Depth Strider yet. We do need one, but that was kind of an expensive one. And also, he didn't really have any other good books. I'm trying to keep my, my villagers down. I think it's Bedrock Tweaks. Yeah, it might be. Might be slightly broken, because I'm definitely using some Bedrock Tweaks villager changers right now. I don't really mind it too much. I mean, how often do you do this anyway? Look at the C. On breaking three for 33 is pretty bad. If you can get that, like, sub, like, 25-ish, then I think you're doing pretty good. Bad the following four for 25. But he's got fire aspect one and sharpness three. What have you got? Power five for 64. Nah. Nah. Do better. Do better. Knockback. Vanishing. Blast. Nothing. Looting. Fire. Efficiency. Ah. Maybe we lost our villager charm. Maybe we lost it. We we got like four really good librarians out of it. These Neither of these ones even had a book. Jeez, maybe we are losing our villager, villager charm. <laughs> uh, that's another looting three though. We've seen like five of those tonight. Aqua, I'm breaking two. Yeah, that always happens. You think you get a great trade for, like, a super cheap price, and then the next villager has it even cheaper. Pretty annoying, right? Oh, protection four for 20? Okay. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. Protection four for 20. That's a good... Sorry I'm yelling, but, like, it's it's a good trade. You gotta yell out the good trades when you get them. I don't know which one that linked to. Oh, okay, it linked to... Wait. Is that you? Oh, it's this one, okay. You. There we go. Okay, and then you. Right? Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, this guy in the corner can start picking up a trade as well. There we go. 
Density 5? I'm almost tempted, but no. We don't have a mace yet. There's Death Strider for 30 as well. Luck 3. Yeah, that's super useless. Basically, all the bow enchantments and the fishing rod enchantments are kind of useless. Because you could just get all that stuff super easily from a fish farm. Um, pretty much all the other protections are useless. Efficiency 5 for 40. Uh, I think that's too much. I think it's too much. Really, the most valuable ones are Mending, Unbreaking, Efficiency, Silk Touch, Fortune, Protection 4, Looting. Like, those are those are your key enchantments right there. Another Mending for 12. The cheapest you can get that is 10, so that's really good, actually. Also, the trident, the trident enchantments are kind of useless, too. Unless you can get Impaling. If you can get an Impaling 5 trade, you should probably go for it. Like, if it's a good price, because it's really difficult to get Impaling from the enchanting table. A good one. Density, Vanish, nothing. Breach 3, that goes up to level 4, doesn't it? It's like 3 for Wind, 4 for Breach, 5 for Density. Charge, blast protection. I don't know anyone that actually uses blast or uh, projectile protection. A, I, a fire protection 4 trade is also a really good one to go for. It's hard to get and it's rare. And you should have at least one fire protection 4 on your armor. Because fire just destroys you if you don't. Lava 2. Like, I, I usually go for fire protection on, like, the pants or the boots or something that you're always wearing. Not the chest plate, because that's, that's an optional thing. You really aren't going to put that on for battle. Probably be prop 4. This one's, in, this one's Impaling 5, Unbreaking 3, and Density 5. I think we have to actually go for this. I think it would be illegal if we passed up this villager. I think it's actually illegal if we pass this one up. I was just saying, impaling 5 for 18, that's, that's really good. I'm breaking for 26, that's pretty de- it's okay. A level 3 for 26 is not bad. And then a uh, density 5, we're never going to use that. So it's fine that it's 44 emeralds. That's really solid. I like this guy. I don't know where to put his workstation. But that's fine. That's three really good books from one guy. You, you can't go wrong, really. And they're all decent prices besides that density. But again, it doesn't really matter. Like, that's, that's pretty much a god-tier villager. It's not like a looting, mending, fortune villager or something. But, yeah, it's pretty good. Silk Touch for six. Don't we have a Silk Touch? Protection for... That's our prop four guy. This guy doesn't have it. Do we have Silk Touch? Looting, respiration, no. I should get some signs in here. Did we get Silk Touch? Infinity, fortune, power, smite. Vanishing? What was his bottom one? Mending. I don't think we have Silk Touch yet. Silk Touch for six is, like, really nice. Yeah, we have Fortune. I know that. This one's Punch 2. We don't need that. Um, I would be fine trying to get Silk Touch on another villager. We have two more over here, and then we have these three guys. I'm thinking Farmer, Fisherman, that guy, and then we can move over to from downstairs. So maybe we could sacrifice this one for a uh, Silk Touch. Silk Touch for six is a really good trade. I think it's I think it's worth it. What do you what do you think? Is it worth it? Yay or nay in the chat? Yay or nay? May. Is it, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's worth a full villager just for Silk Touch. It's pretty, it's pretty common to get a Silk Touch. Well, it's not super common, because there's only one level of it. This guy's, uh, just protection four, though. Or, you know, efficiency five, if you feel like buying a hundred of those. Everyone's saying re-roll. And again, how many Silk Touch pickaxes do you need? Uh, you need a Silk Touch pickaxe and shovel. Diagonal says reroll. I can, I can read that. Moments later. <laughs> okay, fine. You guys have bullied me into it. 
And what do we get for it? A smite three! Wow. Wow. Prop four. Or projectile four. Respiration one. We should have kept it. Two respiration ones and a channeling one. We should have kept it. We should have kept it. I told you guys. This is why group decisions are bad. Wow. Look, look at this. Garbage. Garbage all around. Protection four for 43. We already got that. Feather falling four, 37. I think he's stupid. You believe it rolls between enchantment and then between level? So, only level 1 enchantment is easier to get than a 4 and 5. Um, that's an interesting thought, actually. I never considered that it might do that. I thought it just put all of them into a great old pile and then just randomly picked one. That's why mending is kind of rare, you know? There's infinity and channeling. This is just the level 1 villager guy. Using 4, efficiency 2, protection 4, protection 2, depth strata 2. Wow! Wow! What did this guy have? Impaling, unbreaking, density? Okay. Frostwalker 2, that's really expensive. You can get Frostwalker 2 for like... 20 emeralds, maybe? We already have a smite. We should have kept it! We should have kept it! I'm telling you guys, we should have kept it. Watch, now we're not going to get Silk Touch again. Gotta give it Gilligan VIP. Are they here? You arrive! Hello! How you doing? Welcome on in. Everybody in the chat, you now have permission to bully Gilligan. It's your last chance before they get the VIP roll. Because once they have VIP, that means that they're officially a member of staff on Twitch. And then you can't bully them. I'm just kidding, you can always bully them. There you go, congratulations. And thank you for joining us. <laughs> We're suffering over here. We haven't gotten another golem since... He's on the roof, isn't he? He's not on the roof. Hmm. Sus? Can't bully VIPs? I was kidding. Just believe them in my first. No, please don't. Uh, sharpness five for sixty three. Wow. Here, go, 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 go. I don't know. Impaling for a whale. Feather falling for a whale. We should have kept that silk touch. The prime of your life is behind you, and you have nothing to look forward to, Sir Villager. Fire protection 4, 47. There's the Gulem in the UFL. There shouldn't be able to be. It'd be funny if there was, though. That almost said luck of the C5. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. I'd buy that. Yeah, we don't know when they're going to rule out the villager changes, if ever. It's kind of like, it's in the same state as the bundle right now. And that bundle's been on hold for like five years, so... Yeah. We'll see, right? Mending for 12? Silk Touch for 10? Do we need two mending villagers, though? I don't think we need them. I don't think we need two mending for 12 villagers. I don't think we need them. No. Again, this is the level 1 villager. He gives you all the level 1 books. Two frost walkers. That's kind of rare. Open a bookshop. Eh. I'm not really bothered by it. Lock of the sea. We should have kept that silk touch for six, guys. I'm telling you. We're never going to get another Silk Touch for six. Uh, 
Yeah, once you have a... Like, if you have a Mending for 20 villager, and then you find a Mending for 10 villager, or whatever, you can just kill your 20. And then replace it with another one. Oh! Moss died! But he's right there. <laughs> just an oof in the chat. Breach. Impaling. Falafong 1, he's always got the level 1. One eternity later. Yeah, I'm telling you guys. This is bad. Yeah, the piglins are mean, man. Okay. Projectile 1, luck 2. Fortune 3? We already have a fortune 3. Yeah, you can do the bookshelf loop if you, uh, you know, have them with their discounts. But that is not something that we have right now. We don't have them with their discounts. No discounts. Silk Touch for five! We're doing it. You can't stop me. Silk Touch for five. There we go. We got him. That's the cheapest you can get it. I told you so. I told you so. He's the level one villager. See, it was worth it. It took us 15 minutes to get another silk touch on this guy. <laughs> of course you guys are going to be like, I told you so, I told you so. Uh, this guy needs a book uh, thing. Like turn. There we go. Okay then. Well, let's take let's take a look at the damage, shall we? Let's take a look at the damage. So we got ourselves several lovely villagers. We got this guy right here, Infinity, Fortune Three, and that's it. But both of these are pretty pretty cheap, so that's good. We got this guy right here, Power One, great. Smite Five for twenty three, pretty solid actually. Curse of Vanishing for twelve, amazing. But mending for 12 as well. Very good, very good. We got this guy right here. Soak touch for 5! We got this guy right here, which has got the Impaling 5 for super cheap. I'm breaking 3 for decent price. And then the Density 5 for an okay price. Uh, even though we're never going to use that. This guy right here has got the Protection 4 for a really good low price of 20 emeralds. This guy is just a farmer. Uh, we got this guy right here. Looting 3 for 30. Pretty solid. Respiration for 40. Pretty expensive. Binding for 36. Uh, honestly, pretty decent, though. Uh, you don't really need a lot of respiration or a lot of looting, so that's fine. We're not going to be trading a bunch of those. Uh, it's it's acceptable if they're a bit more expensive when uh, you're not going to be using that book as much, that trade as much. Uh, then we got these two guys... These probably don't have anything too decent, do they? They got pie. Yeah, you want the one with the carrot. This guy's got the carrot. Carrot's good. One emerald per carrot, though. A bit of expensive. Need an unbreaking one. Um, I think we have. Don't we? Do we have an unbreaking? Oh, we had an unbreaking. You don't really need unbreaking unless you have... If you have mending. I thought we had an unbreaking. No, we have one. It's right here. Yeah, I'm breaking three. 26. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. So, we got... I'm breaking. So, touch fortune. Protection. Looting. Unbreaking. Impaling. Density. So, touch. I already said that. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing really good. Uh, let's go ahead and trade with these guys real quick. It is... 15 fishies for one of these. I should be able to trade with them right now, but I can't. 15 fishies for an emerald is pretty good. Oh, I can buy that. Oh, okay, so I can buy the... Okay, so my pack is sort of working. I have a pack that lets you trade with them at any level. If you haven't leveled them up. So maybe it is working. No, the villager nerf has not happened yet. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't do it. Okay. 
Very convenient. There we go. Love to see it. That guy's regular. Can you get one per cod? Okay, he does buy cod as well. Also, does one. Oh, and he buys the trap. Oh, wow. Okay. And he buys the puppers. Bro, is that normal? Wow. Let's grab, let's grab all the fishies. Yeah, this is on truly bedrock. Indeed it is. Uh, basically, all the streams that we're going to be doing for the next while are going to be here on the truly bedrock server. Because this is where we play. Yeah, it's fun. We like it. We like it here. We're home. I might leave Silent 2 on again tonight. Uh, I actually just got him on today. So he's only been fishing for... Eh, 10 hours? 8 hours? Actually, what's his time played at? Blocks mine. He hasn't mined any blocks. Not one. Also, I don't think it, I don't think it tracks his... Uh, time actually either okay there we go man we're gonna be making some bank from these guys we need more salmon more sal man this is great we love it I didn't know you could trade all the fish to them I thought they only accepted, like, certain ones. This is crazy. Also, the knot of the shells are really good to have. They are kind of difficult to get normally, unless you have a trident farm. Yeah, this is great. We're doing, we're doing good stuff right now. We're out of, out of those ones. Uh, I haven't traded this guy, have I? No, okay. We might only need one villager for this. We already got a stack and some of emeralds. Okay. Hello, Skycrafter. How you doing? Uh, let's throw away all that, too. Yeah, we don't have any more of the the regular other fishies. What are they called? The clownfish? Yeah, the clown and army. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hop on out of here. How often is all clicker on? Uh, I have it on 1400 milliseconds. I could probably make it a little bit faster, but I don't really want to. So we need mending. We need that for this. We need... Oh, we didn't get an efficiency 5. That's the only thing that we didn't really get. We did not get an efficiency 5. Or an efficiency 4. Which would be... Acceptable, but not ideal. What do we need for the armor? Well, we need to die at some point. Or this doesn't have mending on it. Okay. If this helmet breaks at some point, that would be so sweet. I guess we needed to go take a bunch of damage. <laughs> it doesn't have mending on it, so we'll be fine there. Uh, we should get a, a protection for... Oh, wait, no. We have another chest plate. We can just combine those real quick. And then now is actually a good time for a name and item for that. I don't know if there's one available. I gotta replace these guys' this anvil that I... Oh, both of them broke? I, I know I only broke the one. Yeah, my ceiling is significantly lower now. <laughs> I'm sure no one will notice. I don't know, I guess we'll just put it over here. Um, yes, we're gonna combine... Oh, that's only one level? Oh, sweet. Am I trimming it after another writing? Probably. 
Yeah, I guess we'll just combine this. So that's prop four mending. That's good. Uh, our elytra does need unbreaking mending on it. So let's do that real quick. That seems pretty important. This guy's our unbreaking? For 26. Yeah, we can afford that. There we go. Found another red template. Uh, Rogue Fox has. I haven't gone to the Bastion or done any of that yet. There we go. And then... We're going to... Oh, we got a mending our, our soap touch. Drops enabled. Uh, the capes are over. You can't get the capes anymore. Mending. Here we go. I should really just put the anvil up here. Yeah, we've only had one golem. I don't know what's up with that. There's gotta be a golem around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, he's over here. Okay. Well, he's in the cow pen. Uh, they're not linking to any of this stuff either, which is good. Or that bad up there. Huh. Yeah, we might have a slight issue with the iron farm. It appears that our golem has abandoned us. And now he's in here, hanging out with the cows. So, oh, now I'm in here hanging out with the cows, too. Um... I actually can't get out of here. <laughs> right then. So, good job, me. There we, oh, no, 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 no. Stay in there. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know how to deal with that. That's fine. We'll just not worry about that for now. I'm sure it's not a problem. Maybe we just have everyone else remove their beds from around the place. I think that would work out. Lava it. Fire spreads is turned on, so we don't really want to do that, you know. There we go. We also need to get a fire aspect at some point. Uh, let's check our fishing books down here real quick. If we have an efficiency four, a couple of efficiency fours, that would be great. Like that one right there. That could go on the axe, actually. Also, looting three for the sword. Can't put any aqua affinity on the helmet. Another efficiency three. All of our stuff's got on breaking on it, right? Actually, this is not a bad book. We can find another efficiency for for it. Efficiency four. Here we go. Seems pretty likely to get efficiency four. Another efficiency four, and we're doing great. Okay. That's all we need. That's all we need. Kill the golem, see where he respawns. Yeah, we'll need to at some point. I think it's the the beds. I have feather falling boots. I do, yeah. Um, and fire protection. I just need to put on some mending on here. That would be good. Okay, so we have a looting for the sword. We have a breaking efficiency three. That could be for the axe. all this stuff over here and then we have another efficiency four another efficiency four and a break three efficiency four so we have enough efficiency fours to make all of our stuff efficiency five Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. That seems fine then. And then we just need to put mending on the shovel. Easy. Okay then, we've gotten all the books that we need to basically max out our gear. And hopefully enough levels to do some of it, so we can put mending on the shovel here for... Oh wait, we can put efficiency 4 on the shovel to get efficiency 5. We can, we can put mending on there too. Okay, yeah, we get efficiency 5 the shovel. We can put a mending on there as well. Bam, that's looking pretty good. I just see some breaking at some point. We can get efficiency 5 onto our fortune 3 pickaxe using this book right here. Bam, looking very good. We can also get efficiency 5 onto our silk touch pickaxe. Looking amazing. And then our sword can get a looting. Nope, nope, nope. Our axe can get an unbreak. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we need more levels. We need more levels. Uh, but yeah, we are getting very close to having all of our gear be pretty well maxed out. Which is looking great. Yeah, we just gotta get an XP farm going. And then we should be pretty fine. I'm also gonna organize this inventory at some point. Cool beans. Looking good. I think we... I think we're about... About good, right? Let's paper away. No one needs that. Yeah, we even got our, our elytra going. Love the YouTube voice. Yeah, the YouTube voice is pretty... <laughs> pretty obvious, isn't it? Hey, you know, it sounds nice. It's fine. Good voice, good voice. Okay, then. I'm pretty happy with this. So we got our fish farm working. We got our villager breeder working. We got our iron farm trading hall kind of working. We got our gear pretty well upgraded. We just need to go ahead and build ourselves a uh, another thing. And yeah, if you combine two efficiencies together, it makes a larger one. So two level one books makes a level two. Two level twos makes a three. Two threes makes a four. Two fours makes a five. Uh, combining books is really a pain and costs a ton of levels. Would not recommend. Um, but sometimes it works out. Like for our permanent gear, like this stuff, it doesn't really matter, right? We're going to go ahead and rename the Silk Touch at some point, And then that's the only thing we're ever going to do with it besides putting Netherite on it. So it works out. Yeah, we need to break this helmet at some point. Or just die. <laughs> I prefer not to die. I would prefer to actually break this helmet. If we could break this without dying, that'd be so funny. Uh, we gotta go fight like a wither or something. That'd probably probably deal it in pretty well. Maybe do another fortress. I don't know. Death is always an option. Indeed it is. Uh, but that's gonna do it for today's live stream, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a bit of a longer one. We've had consistent two and a half hour long live streams here on this season. It's really bedrock. It's been good. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, as always, check out the links here in the chat for other places to follow us and find us. We're on Discord, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Patreon. We're on all the places all the time forever. Uh, but we're going to end by rating someone, as we always do. So stick around for just one moment, and we'll see who is streaming from the Truly Bedrock server. Uh, we got ourselves um, a Ladrium streaming on the Truly Bedrock server. He's making an iron farm. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys know the deal. Drop a follow on the channel if you enjoy their content. I'll see you guys over there and in the next one. And currently they have 14 viewers. So go blow up their chat, everybody. You guys know the deal. I'll see you over there. And, and in the next one. But yeah, have a good night, everybody. Love your faces.